what's happening, what's happening. Shout out to all those beginner investors and traders, college graduates, entrepreneurs, hustlers, anybody trying to make something out of nothing. Listen, I know everybody that's been waiting for AMC and GameStop to pop again is excited because of everything that they're saying is cracking down with uh, the synthetics and, you know, the failure to delivers and uh, the executive order, uh, hedge funds not being able to use collateral from uh, Chinese stocks and um, a bunch of different advocates have come out to talk about the things that the SEC and Gary Gensler uh, and others haven't been doing to uh, safely protect retail uh, from all the corruption. And that is a great reason to be excited. It's just that based on all the psychology that's been taking place, uh, I am just worried about them using uh, a method of reconfiguration to make it look like certain hedge funds are under fire and certain people are under fire when they actually have an escape code and they'll just burn retail like they did last year. And the only reason why, you know, I would like to believe in this because after all the manipulation and uh, the, all the micro squeezes that's happened from all these companies that's been shorted. I believe with them uh, uh, creating the algorithm, I believe with them being the market makers, I believe with them having the capability to sway the uh, news and uh, news reports, uh, social media, uh, and other aspects of um, finance, and not just that politics, I think that will be the reason we could have a problem. And I don't think, like I said, it can't happen because they've been caught with their pants down. It's just hard to believe that they will actually let it happen because of the lives that it will change. And there are a lot of people out there that are involved in these plays that will do a lot of great things. And I don't think that's something that they want spreading. I don't think they want positivity uh, and people affecting change and uh I just I just can't see it, man. I, I want to believe it, and that's the reason why uh, hopefully it does, you know, uh, because a lot of people do deserve it. There are a lot of people out there that uh, are going to take care of their family. A lot of people are going to help, you know, uplift people and change some lives. So I really believe that it would be a great thing, you know. Uh, but as long as they've been robbing retail, as long as they've, as long as they're the ones that control the game, I just don't see what we can do. You know, uh, I'm still holding. I have shares of AMC in different portfolios, uh, GameStop as well. Uh, if you go check out the page, I was talking about GameStop back in uh, 2019. Uh, I was buying since it was five dollars a share. Uh, but I didn't start doing videos until about GameStop until it was about 11 or $13 a share. But around that time, it was nowhere near the amount of people that are talking about it now. It was literally not even five, four or five people talking about it. The only people I remember talking about GameStop at that time when I started doing videos was Deep Effing Value, Kendall, Keith Gill. Uh, I've actually been on a live with him talking about GameStop. I've even left comments that he's responded to, you know, about my opinions in GameStop and he's agreed with me. And I've also agreed with the things that he's had to say. And I'm just a beginner that's read, did a lot of research on GameStop. 
it's the stock that actually put me in the market as far as gaining information and obtaining bits and bits and pieces and little baby bits and pieces of knowledge. You know, um, but uh, I'm still, I still have a lot to learn. And, and with everything that took place when I really decided to start learning about stocks, this GameStop thing happened. So it really gave me an opportunity to learn more, but a lot of things started coming up that was never introduced in the market before until these different things started taking place. So that's another reason why it's hard for me to have conversations sometimes with retail because it's like, yo, a lot of the stuff that's going on now is never even before, it's never seen before. So, you know, this is an opportunity for, for them to use that as a way to get over. So, you know, uh, I don't like to be a downer, man. I believe me, you go listen to the channel and go look at some of them pages, uh, I mean, uh, uh, videos, you definitely can hear me excited about how we got them and caught them with their pants down based on everything that took place. But once they started doing, you know, the halts and, you know, I was seeing all them institutions sell shares and, you know, and all those people involved that, that was uh, worked for the company in the games, I mean, AMC, and it was just like unbelievable, man. And um. It seemed like they're just going to take us in another circle, you know, uh, in my opinion. Now, I think we will see some movement, you know, but it will just be to continue to get those 10 to 20 percent gains that they get, you know, daily or pretty much every other day. So that's just my opinion. You know, uh, tell me what you think on Monday's what's going to happen, because I think after we didn't see the move on Friday, you're going to start seeing a whole lot of content creators talking about how this happened. And then they started shortening it again. And then they're going to start talking about how shares started being bought up and started appearing out of nowhere again. And how the devil this and the devil that. And it would just be another week of them giving you BS. Like I've literally, it's literally people on YouTube that will tell you that GameStop and AMC is going to the moon every week. You know what I'm saying? So it's obvious that people are getting into this because of the momentum it could cause for them and their channel. Uh, uh, and not just that, if they are attached to some type of hedge fund or getting paid, they could make lots of money, ad revenue. Uh, they're getting paid for companies to push uh, AMC's mo uh, and GameStop's movements and, you know, to talk about the fundamentals and the charts and you know, just completely keep you blind from volume and buyers and sellers and, you know, how the opera, how the market operates based on, you know, demand, uh, supply and demand. So, you know, uh, that's just my opinion, man. I really think if it doesn't run this week, you're going to see all these YouTubers talking about well, July and then it's just going to be another year of some BS, you know what I mean? So let's see. Let's see how many of these YouTubers that popped up out of nowhere in these last two to three weeks talking about AMC is going to the moon. Let's see how many of them going to be around about time August start rolling in if AMC doesn't blow back up over 30 or 40 or maybe $50. Let's see. You know, uh, that's my opinion. Please tell me what you think. Uh, I'm still holding GameStop. I'm going to do whatever in my power to make sure that I accumulate more shares of GameStop based on everything uh, that I think about GameStop and where it's going and the potential. Um, and we'll see where it goes with AMC, man. Uh, let me know how y'all feel, man. I'm out of here.